Agent Rachel Luba declines comment on talks. I think you should get in the gym so we can get this deal done. At 28, Rachel Luba is the youngest certified female agent in baseball. She represents Trevor Bauer, this past offseason's top free agent. There's going to be a lot of doors slammed in my face, a lot of failure. Someone comments, LOL, she didn't do anything. It was because of his hard work. I'm tired of this feminist bullshit. You have to like fail your way to success. It's just something that has been like ingrained in me. In order to succeed, you have to fail. Ah! The one word that I've started to resonate with is unbreakable. Luba's unlikely journey to the baseball diamond began on the gymnastic mats of Monterey, California. An elite gymnast, she earned a spot and joined UCLA in the fall of 2010. There, she became friends with fellow Bruin, Trevor Bauer. What were your first impressions of Rachel? Like, abrasive. Uh, abrasive is maybe not the, the best word, but just kind of, she fired back, you know? That's different than most people. At UCLA, she told Bauer that she was interested in becoming a sports agent. He never questioned, like, me wanting to work in the industry just because I didn't play in it. He was like, yeah, you can teach yourself everything. You can be successful in this industry, too. While still a college student, Luba was introduced to a male agent who represented Major League Baseball players. I remember he picked his feet up, like, on his desk, like, leaned back in his chair, and he's like, well, like, seems like you know what you want to do, so I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. I was like, okay. He's like, you're a girl. And he just, like, stared at me, and I was like, I had no idea. And he was like, well, what I'm saying is you're not really welcome in the industry. I'm not saying you can't do it, but it's just the reality. So that was the first of many no's that I got. Rachel graduated from UCLA in 2013 magna cum laude and earned a law degree from Pepperdine University. After working for the Major League Baseball Players Association for a year as a salary arbitration attorney, she launched her own agency in 2019 and signed Trevor Bauer as her first client. I don't want to walk away without finding out exactly what, how high they would be willing to go. It's a lot less of an art and more of a science now with, with data. So this idea that, you know, a female can't be in this boys club, you can't go play golf with, you know, GMs and be able to like be one of the boys and whether it's go to strip clubs or whatever it is they do because you're a girl. Well, now that it's much more of a science, like why can't I do it? You know, I don't need to have to fit into the boys club. I can operate differently. Luba has a rare approach. Her pay-per-service flat fee plus billable hours allows players to pay only for the services they're actually receiving, rather than just taking a percentage of the on-field contract. Welcome to Luba Sports, my friend. Welcome. Her model is like a lot more customizable, which made a lot of sense for the future of where I see baseball going. Everything is hyper-personalized, so why shouldn't agency uh, representation be the same way? Luba's presence on social media including regular activity on Twitter, sets her apart from other agents. She has worked with Bauer on his polarizing social media posts. We know he's a loose cannon. Trevor's always gonna do something nuts. Bauer received the most scrutiny in 2019 after a female college student criticized him online. He then posted and commented on some of her old tweets. Bauer has also not been afraid to challenge anyone from Noah Syndergaard to the commissioner of baseball. I like having dissenting people around me because it helps fill in the blind spots that I have because I, like, I'm, very, I'm very tolerant to risk and I don't consider the downside a lot of times. My client has informed me he wants to make another video, naturally. I get a rush of anxiety when he tells me that. One of the very first things that we talked about when, once I switched, she's like, just having a targeted strategy of getting who I actually am in front of people more. She's like, well, I need you to do this, be a, not this outcast or uncoachable, because none of those things are true. But that's the public perception of me. Here, this is my Sounds forewarning. Like a green light to me. This is Sounds my like a green light to me. my forewarning that I don't want to hear any sh if I censor. Bold is something that I feel like you are on social media. You're the most followed agent in the industry. Very few are even on there. Yeah. How do you decide putting yourself out there? 
I was actually talking with Bauer. And I think there was a picture of me, I don't know, working out or something in a sports bra. And I was like, I can't post that on there. He was like, why? He was like, you're an athlete. Like, why can't you post your, you know, in the gym or working out? And I was like, no, because it's not professional. And like, I'm a female, I have to be very careful about how I portray myself. To me, having to fit into a man's mold or like operate how men do in an industry is taking away from being a female. She's gained a, a lot of traction very early on for doing exactly that, being authentic, being transparent, you know, being out there and like, hey, I don't have this whole thing figured out, but here I am. For three months, she was right in the middle of Bauer's highly publicized free agency. When you're a female, if you're doing something different, people are very critical of it and they will scrutinize everything you do. And I have to just like come back to the fact that my job is to represent the player and do the best job for the player. Once we get a deal done, then things will change for you a bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then nice you'll have, have a job. job. Yeah, that'd be nice. 11 years after they were student athletes together at UCLA, Luba helped bring him home to Los Angeles to play for the Dodgers. Luba, along with co-agent John Federoff, helped Trevor Bauer become the first $40 million a year player in baseball history. Trevor's gonna be the highest paid player in MLB history next year. That kind of hit me. Holy f we, we did that. So many haters, but we did that. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.